Three. Alright. Alright, let's get into it. Ooh. Losers round number five. Of, I believe this is A N Z. Maybe it's Latin? It's Latin. It's oh, okay. the Latin bracket. Oh, lit. Okay, we're in Latin bracket then. Cool. I just want to make sure I know what reason I'm talking about. Yep. Loses round three. So, I believe this is the round right before top eight. Or maybe this is top eight. No, this is top, top we're doing top 16, so. Oh, yeah, it's top 16. Top 16. I forgot how to do math. Anyway, we got Sheik versus Isaac here. Wado, I believe, playing the Sheik. Yeah. Wado, Sheik Kino. versus Kimo Isaac. Yeah, it's going to be a. Uh, a long set, my guess is, because it's Dreamland starter. Yeah. This is going to be a, a pretty slow stage for both these characters. But uh, Isaac's been doing pretty well recently in a lot of tournaments. I feel like with Pixel, yeah. you know, kind of showing up. So I think, you know, Gmo's going to try and like ride that that trend upwards with the Isaac. But um, I think as you and me both know, Sheik is not super yeah. terrible at this matchup with the with the needles and the high land yeah, speed and whatnot. Needle. Yeah, well needle to control space. And that kill power, like even on Dreamland, like that's that was just like a few percent short of killing. And Guado's well, even a huge lead right now for percents. So yep. feels like Guado's well, got the matchup figured out using Sheik's high speed to weave in and out of, you know, the threat range of Isaac, which admittedly covers most of the stage half the time. Yeah. But he's doing even a good though, job so far. You know Sheik would really love playing grounded. And, you know, she can't really do as much in this matchup because Isaac can assert so much ground control with all the projectiles. He just has enough uh, air mobility to be able to reach him through the air, but... Off the up air! As I was to say, that's the lead very tough. Really quickly. Yeah, I was about to say, Isaac punish game very strong, I think, especially on Sheik, who, like, if Sheik's in the air, kind of, like, panicking, there's not, like, a crazy amount she can do, I feel like. You don't really want to, like... What Sheik's normally trying to do, I feel like, when they're in juggle situations, is they try and, like, maybe drift off stage with Bouncing Fish and try and grab ledge that way, then reset yeah. neutral. But you really don't want to drift off stage versus Isaac, because the hands are even stronger with no platforms to kind of be used to avoid them. Yeah, this high percent is really hard for Sheik to find a kill, because at this high percent, you're grabbing from stop working altogether. Yeah, and there's not really like a kill throw you can go for, and like her strong like aerials are not super great in neutral, so it can be hard to like find like that random strong bear or that random like fair. Yeah, those, those strong bears tiny. are gonna be really hard to find in this part. This part of neutral and there, that's gonna do it. It's crazy how we almost lived that. Like, yeah. I feel like that it's barely killed at 200. Yeah, that's true. And Sheik Nair is like famously got nerfed. It was used to be yep. insanely strong. And now it's like, it's still strong, but it's not nearly as potent. It's still good, but it's not like, it's not a, the omnipotent move it was before. Oh yeah, I remember killing people with soft near 80 off stage. It was, it was wild. But now strong near killing at 200, so. A good reset for, for Guado here. Definitely needs that yeah. sort of momentum swing. Seems like we blink and he's already at 84. Guado yeah, showing, fast. showing strong uh, advantage to him right now. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like he's not even getting huge punishes like long strings. He's just been like kind of doing his hit and run oh, strategy. You hold... Oh, you held down on that, unfortunate. Yeah. Definitely yeah, want the fastball. As I was about to say, you probably do want fastball past like all the hand stuff that's going on above yeah. stage, but you can't keep holding down. Wow. Because... Okay, now it's back to the corner. Yeah, like down smash, underrated move on Cheek in my opinion. A not bit, yeah. often used, but it's actually pretty strong. It yeah. can be if they're at the ledge as well. Definitely working out, I believe. Well, it's picked up yeah. a lot of percent and good positioning from that down smash at ledge, so. Yeah. And in general, Guada's made use of that down smash, even though it's like an off get off move or just get him off stage oh, at yeah. percent. You can kind of use it like Peach down smash in a way, where you can use it as sort of this like, hey, I'm just gonna throw out this big fast hitbox that you can't really contest. Yeah, it's punishable, but like in certain situations, it is the right choice. True. It's also like a simple execution test. You don't have to do like a crazy input. All you do is get hit down on your C stick and you just have it out. Oh, so it's all, an interesting thing I know is that there's no timer. Ooh, yeah. These players must not have set their SSF2 a... properly. Usually that wouldn't be an issue for SSF2 players, but um, on Dreamland with these characters that tend to be a little harder to kill, it could be an issue. Surely even in that, this matchup it doesn't become an issue. I would imagine not. Yeah, very even right now, despite the fact that I feel like Guada's winning like most of the neutral exchanges, but yeah. not oh, getting nearly as much. Fine. Yeah. That's gonna kill. Fine too strong. 
Find you strong indeed. Yeah, and Royal's really looking for this kill. Not necessarily yeah. fishing yet, but he's he's just trying to get this confirmed. I feel like he's not really been connecting with his strong moves at the end of his combos. Like he'll have a good string going with some tilts maybe into some weak aerials, but never finds that forward arrow, that like strong move to finish it off. Which I guess is a symptom of the matchup, you know. Isaac being so floaty, hard to hard to finish your combos yeah. on, but still, very is unfortunate. Is where she kinda starts getting desperate. Especially since yeah. Bob is going to present grabs. Yeah, they can't get a lot off down throw at this percent, I would imagine, which Sheik's primary throw for setting up into kill moves. I mean, if there's any percent that he does want to look for down throw confirms, it's like probably right now. Yeah, you can't get too much more percent, or uh, all of a sudden you're just gonna throw them and they're just gonna DI up and jump out, and there's nothing you can do about that. But yeah, um. Shimo actually doing a pretty good job so far, getting Guarda to the uh, last block, and now, also now it's just like raw hit percent. Yeah, now now you gotta start getting scared of your sheep too. Yeah. I off the stage. As I say, goes oh. deep in the dead guard. But... Maybe that was a grab opportunity. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, Guarda getting a little bit a little bit nervous with oh. these rolls. I feel like not not. I feel like his movement yeah. was much more much more confident the last couple of of moments, but at the moment, yep. not really showing that. Hero kill. To say, still doable though with a long punish, but a good string could kill for Sheik in this position, but Very wow. Good. I would I would be afraid of getting hit by any random move at 130, and that is exactly how the stock is taken. Shimo taking game one mm -hmm. on Dreamland. See if we can get a uh, some sort of a stage counter pick. I would imagine a smaller stage would be better for Sheik here. Yep. Maybe some earlier kills, also you can kind of like manipulate your movement a little bit more on a smaller stage. I don't know if I like this one. Yeah, the the toss definitely a little questionable. Toss. As you say, yeah. Ida, as a current or uh, previous Sheik player for some of your career, uh, you would know more about this than I do, but I would imagine that this is not a fun time for characters, for anyone who has yeah. to deal with eyes and hands. But we'll see uh, if he can uh, make it works. Right now, it's not looking great though. Kind of getting boxed up in the corner. Yeah, that vine up smash. Ooh, not quite living. But yeah, yeah I don't know about this toss kind of thing. It just seems like toss seems like the type of state where Isaac just does whatever he wants. Yeah, there's not like a lot you can do. And the high ceiling I feel like isn't great for Sheik too, because Sheik usually likes yeah. to kill off the top versus floaties at least. You want to get those like down tilt into up smash, you want to get like down tilt up air. Like you're fair, there's kids you to the corner and they'll oh. live forever, so it can be really rough. Yeah, Guada running into that up smash. Uh, whoa! Is this Zelda? No, what? Oh, this is uh, Shades of, uh, of uh, Incinerate Dan here. Dan yeah, I was about to say. The Shielda, I've always been a huge proponent of the Shielda. Saves you the counter pick mid game, so lets you at least see how you'll go. And Zelda, obviously, significantly easier character than Sheik from yeah. the execution perspective, so that might help. Now the question is, how much better is it in this matchup on this stage? Oh, it's it, it, it must be tough, but the the mix up can be definitely. Um, maybe he'll get some some mileage there. I imagine once Chimo adapts to the much slower Zelda, it's like it's gonna be much more like Isaac's gonna adapt to the matchup. And then it's probably worse for uh, for Zelda, but you know, if the Zelda ain't working, you might as well try something new. Yeah, Don't Zelda like much lighter than Sheik will die to that up smash, or even earlier than he did last time. Yeah, as I say, it's going to be tough for sure. I've played both of these characters to some degree, um, and I know for sure Zelda really doesn't like having to play games where she has to be approaching. She's not super yeah. good at holding forward. Um, Sheik does a little bit better job of holding forward. Obviously, you never want to be holding forward with any character, but if you've got to approach, you want to be playing the faster and much more agile yep. Sheik. But I maybe the Zelda over here. As I say, but the Zelda kill power could be helpful. True, very true. As I say, that's that's the benefit I see in the matchup. Also, if you want to like maybe get some anti airs, you can use that up smash. Sheik's anti airs are notoriously not spectacular versus Isaac, who has all those oh. defense. Oh, I think he wanted, must have wanted to get some sort of diagonal down angle, but yeah, he just goes tries straight to angle it. Yeah, tries for that angle, but already in the punish game, I'm seeing that Guada is getting a lot more percent per conversion. I feel like 
yeah. beforehand when oh. he was playing the Sheik. It was definitely a, a situation well, where the punch was not there. So I say, Kimo uh, just, Kimo just slapping him over and over. Yeah, as I say, the hand stuff is really coming out. Oh, and the fine, fine kill confirms are strong. Even if it's not kill, it is percent. It's demoralizing. Yeah. Oh, that's got to do it. Yep. Game. Okay, it looks like wow. That the was Shielda, the not the today. not the move at the moment. Yeah, just a lot went wrong just from the jump. Oh yeah, I think the, it all started with the stage pick, was, pick, honestly. Yeah, yeah, the stage pick was just really knotted in that.